Number 68. In general, can we predict the effect of doubling the concentration of A on the rate of an overall reaction, A plus B yield C? And then, can we predict the effect if the reaction is known to be an elementary step or an elementary reaction? Okay, so it seems like we have a difference between a overall reaction versus an elementary reaction. So let's write those out. So first let's define what is an overall reaction as opposed to a elementary reaction. Okay, so let's start with elementary, even though it's on the bottom, we'll do this one first. Now an elementary reaction, elementary, kind of like going into elementary school and then going to middle school and high school and college, elementary school is probably your first experience, you know, in a school setting. So it's a very basic type of experience. So we could translate that into saying that an elementary reaction is a very basic reaction, so basic that it's not that basic, not that type of basic, right? <laughs> um, but it's so basic that there's nothing to it. It's only one single step. It's a one, and maybe what I'll do, I, won't, I don't need, I don't need that arrow. I can just say right here, dot, dot, it's a one single step reaction. And that's all there is to it. So if A plus B yields AB, that's it. It's only this one single step. I'm looking at this step. I know exactly what's going on, um, and there's nothing else to it. Now, an overall reaction is, think of it as overall, right? If something is overall, it's like a general overview of what's actually happening. An overall reaction is the same thing as your net reaction, where we don't really know how many steps are in the generalized reaction. It's also, you know, a generalized reaction. There could be two steps, could be three steps, could be four steps. And when I mean one, two, or three steps, I'm talking about your elementary steps. Could be two elementary steps, could be three elementary steps. Each single step is classified as an elementary step. And when you scrunch them all together and you see your net reaction, that's an overall reaction. So, for example, maybe in an overall reaction, you have A plus B yields AB. But then, maybe there's another step to this reaction. So this might be step one. So that would be your first elementary reaction. And then for, maybe what I'll do is I'll just pull this over a little bit. Okay. And then um, we'll say that maybe this overall reaction has two steps. And what happens is maybe, I don't know, AB plus a new compound, D, yields, I don't know, AD plus B, something like that, and that's it. So in this example, we actually have two elementary steps. Each one of them laid out is an elementary reaction. So here's an elementary reaction, here's an elementary reaction. But when you add them together and stuff starts getting canceled out, right, seems like I have in this example, I had AB on one side and AB on the other side, that would cancel, that gets simplified, and the same thing with the B and the B. So that gets canceled. So my net reaction or my overall reaction would be A plus D yields AD. But by looking at this overall reaction, if I don't know those elementary steps, I can't really say, hey, I had one elementary or two elementary or three elementary steps. So that's the idea here, is that if you're saying that it's an overall reaction, I don't know what was inside. I don't know how many steps there was actually to get from this to this, right? Um, so yeah, so now let's answer the question. It says, in general, can we predict the effect of doubling the concentration of A 
uh, in the rate of the overall reaction, A plus B yields C. Now, in my case, I said A plus B yields AB, um, but you could say A plus B yields C. It doesn't really matter, right? A plus B yields C, or A plus B yields AB. The idea here is that for an overall reaction, if we, and maybe since I have a little bit of room here, if we increase A, does that mean that the overall reaction is going to double? Well, the idea here is that it all goes back to the rate law. If you have an overall reaction, since you may have one step or two step or three steps, the overall reaction does not, um, or I will say is not, or cannot, does not, I guess does not, have to be the same, the same as the rate law. Because as you as we're gonna see, right, probably in another uh, another question, that some of these steps will be slow. That means that they're rate limiting. Some of them are gonna be fast, and because of that, that is what's going to be dictating the rate law. And that's when we're gonna see what is gonna be affecting. So the overall reaction, if it's an overall reaction, it does not have to be the same as the rate law because there's many steps inside of your overall reaction. So if you increase A, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be affecting the rate. Maybe, the, maybe A isn't even in the rate law. So in this case, can we predict for the overall reaction? No. But now, can we predict the effect if the reaction is known to be an elementary reaction? In this case, elementary reaction, it's only that one single step. So everything is laid out on the table. So in this case, your rate law abides by the elementary reaction all the time because it's, it's only one step. And for this example that I gave, the rate law would be equal to K times the concentration of those reactants raised to the coefficients. So there's going to be a 1 and a 1. And the same thing for, you know, A plus B yield C. So if we do increase the rate of A, that rate will increase. And we can only say this because the rate law does abide by your elementary reactions only, never for your overall. It's just a coincidence if they do. But in this case, we will say yes. So can we predict the effect if the, if the reaction is known to be a reaction, uh, elementary reaction? Yes. So if you double the concentration of A, and in this case, there was only one A, so if you increase A by two times, the rate will also increase by two times, if we wanted to actually know the answer for this reaction that they gave us. But the idea here is that, yes, since it goes by the rate law, um, everything is laid out on the table, everything's out in front of you, so yes, we can predict. But for an overall reaction, no, 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 because the rate law may not be what the overall reaction says. And that's it. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Thanks so much for coming here. Um, love talking to you guys in the comments. I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying, and I will talk to you in later lessons, right? Later videos, later lessons. I'll see ya, right? Okay. Bye-bye.